You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rutrans for Black and White Sports. Well, look, even rugby is not immune to wokeness trying to take over its sports. Now, we've seen several things when it comes to things like jerseys, where players have said no, teams have pushed back. We saw the New York Rangers push back on pride jerseys during practice or uh, something like that prior to a game. Uh, They decided we're not wearing that. Ivan Provorov very very publicly came out and said, nope, it's not for me. I'm religious. I've got religious beliefs, and I'm not wearing that. That became very public in the NHL. Well, a few months ago, Australian rugby decided they were going to boycott a game over the uh, pride jerseys, having to wear these pride jerseys. In case you're wondering what those look like, there we go. There's that standard operating procedure lgbtqia niner plus pride round i i would assume that's the jersey right there because we've got all the uh the rainbow paraphernalia on this jersey well the actual bosses they're called the the club executives senior managers in the nrl which is the national rugby league have come out and overwhelmingly spit in the face of the pride round that's going to be dedicated in support of the LGBTQI community. Let's look at this. This is Breitbart. Just 82% of Australian rugby league club bosses reject a dedicated pride round of competition in support of the LGBTQI community, according to a poll released on Tuesday. The Sydney Morning Herald called on 34 NRL club chief executives and senior managers to join an anonymous survey covering the big issues in the sport. 25 of them chose to respond. A reported 82% of club bosses told the Herald the NRL should not adopt a pride round initiative in the code. So they just push back on the whole round. More definitely, 57% of respondents said they would not introduce a dedicated pride team jersey at their club, while 38% said they would consider launching a pride jersey, but only if the players consented. The result follows an uproar in the Australian Rugby League last year after a decision was made without consultation for mainly Sea Eagles players to wear a gay pride jersey in a round of competition. Uh, This guy is an actual gay player over there. Oh, he's a former Australian rugby player that's gay. Ian Roberts. Yeah. At least one respondent in the latest polling quoted by Wide World of Sports said they would introduce a pride jersey at their club regardless of the players' views. Others, not so sure. Given what occurred at Manly, why would you think that would occur at the other 16 clubs given how many Polynesian players, many of whom are obviously religious, are in the NRL, a club boss anonymously said. So he's like, why are you even proposing it? We've got a lot of players that are strong on their religious beliefs, and they're not going to agree with that lifestyle. If the NRL was going to consider such a round, then a round based on inclusivity would be better. You can't have a pride round and promote it as being inclusive if you exclude people People's views of which the you do not agree. Amen. I mean, yeah, that's exactly right. You're not exactly including everybody now, are you? That's that's funny. We see that a lot on the left. Oh, we're so inclusive, except we're not. We're not tolerant either. We're not brave, stunning, and courageous either. The polling falls last year's upset in the wake of Manly Club's decision to create a dedicated pride jumper. 
As Breitbart News reported, seven manly players boycotted the game in protest at being told to wear the rainbow jersey, saying they were not consulted. Coach Des Hasler said the players advised club officials that wearing the pride jersey conflicted with their cultural, societal, and religious beliefs. And there it is right there. The revolt by seven rugby players in Sydney, Australia, against wearing a controversial gay pride team jersey has widened. And uh, that is a video we did last July. Quote, the players will not play on Thursday, and when we accept their decision, Hasler said at the time, these young men are strong in their beliefs and convictions, and we will give them their space and support they require. That's a pretty grown-up way of looking at it, I think. A playing group are solid in understanding of each other's views. As a club, we will wear the jersey on Thursday night. Players in other Australian sports previously refused to wear jerseys while advertising or supporting messages which conflict with their religious beliefs. Australian rugby star attacked for declining to support gay marriage campaign due to Christian beliefs. I think we did that video as well. Oh, no, we didn't. That was before our time. That was uh, 2017. In 2016, a Pakistani-born Australian cricketer, Fawad Ahmed, was allowed to play in a team shirt which did not carry the logo of the Australian team's beer sponsor. Cricket Australia agreed to request by the Muslim leg spinner not to wear the sponsorship logo of a beer brand, VB, because of his face ban on alcohol, as Breitbart News reported. Wow. So, I mean, it's not just, they're actually not actually just saying, well, it's pride jerseys. Some of these guys, their religious beliefs, I'm sure don't allow for certain kinds of stimulants. In this case, and I don't think it's a stimulant, but alcohol is against their religious beliefs consuming it so they don't wear jerseys this sponsor have any beer sponsors on them and i think that's pretty cool that the league will let them go out there it looks like a guy had played without a logoed shirt on i mean where do you see that in any kind of sporting event where they allow you to wear something that's unofficial and away from the you know, where where everybody else is going in the league. Uh, man, we need to see a little bit more of this in the United States. We saw it with the NHL players. Uh, we've seen it. I believe there were a couple of Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay Rays that chose not to pitch or decided not to wear some kind of pride logo jersey, and that also became a massive deal. Now, look. Every time this happens and every time somebody stands up and 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 won't bow down and do something like this for the sake of either religion or they just flat don't agree with the lifestyle and they're like, I'm not supporting this. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. As you can expect, there's a round of media backlash, a round of social media backlash. And, of course, the players are called everything under the sun. Well, uh, you know, it's okay. We've got to support your beliefs, but you can't support my beliefs? Really? How is how is that okay, and how does that work exactly? Nah, forget that. I admire these club bosses. Okay, I don't know if those are owners. I would assume either that or like CEOs, team presidents, that kind of thing. You know, we're dealing with a sport that's overseas. So I don't know what the semantics are between a position on a NFL team, you know, or a, a NBA team versus an Australian rugby team. So keep that in mind when we're talking about this. Uh, the dudes in charge of the team say now they would not be in su- support of it. Looks like with 82% overwhelmingly so. Hmm, that's kind of refreshing. 
Tell me what you think, black and white sports supporters. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Black and white network supporters, make sure you go over and check out the black and white network merchandise store. 25% off USA first, 25% off USA first. Go now. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on black and white sports.